Welcome to our Keras tutorial. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many machine learning practitioners encounter. Our viewer, Nicholas, is working on satellite image classification and is facing challenges with inconsistent predictions between the predict and predict generator methods in Keras. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In this video, we'll address the differences in predictions between the predict and predict generator methods in Keras. Let's start by understanding the context of your satellite image classification task. First, let's look at your code. You are using Image Data Generator to create a data generator for training and validation. This is crucial for handling large datasets efficiently. Now the issue arises when you compare the outputs of Predict and Predict Generator. It's important to ensure that both methods receive the same input data format. In your case, you mentioned that the data fed into PREDICT is constructed similarly to the generator's output. One potential reason for the discrepancy could be the way the data is batched or shuffled in the generator. The PREDICT method processes the entire data set at once, while PREDICT generator processes it in batches. This can lead to differences in predictions if the data is not handled identically. Finally, to troubleshoot, you can print out the predictions from both methods and compare them directly. This will help you identify where the differences lie. Additionally, ensure that your model is in evaluation mode when making predictions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The output from PREDICT and PREDICT GENERATOR in Keras is actually the same, but they appear different due to how labels are provided. PREDICT uses explicit labels, while PREDICT GENERATOR infers them from the directory structure of the training data. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.